protect the students. What is this? Oh, that's a raffle ticket I got at Davis' school. It must have gotten stuck to something. Yeah, your contracting license. I hope you weren't planning on having that framed. Yeah, well, it, strawberry ice cream can get really sticky. Uh-huh. So, how many commercial sites have you worked on? Uh-huh. Well, your contracts seem to be in order, and these are the documents will be fine once you have them notarized. Ask about prior conviction. Emmy. Uh -huh. Yeah, I heard you. I heard you. Get him notarized. All right. Uh, all right. Mm -hmm. Ask for his references. Local only. Excuse me. Could you hold on for a second? Would you like me to put this on speaker, or can I finish my interview with my backhoe operator? Oh, nothing. Just a little static. What the hell is a backhoe? I'm pretty sure it's one of those big doohickeys that shovels up dirt. Are you two going to survive working this closely together? We were married a long time. Ignoring each other comes easy. But it is his thing, contracting. And now it's mine, too. Would you like something to drink? Got a good bottle of wine? If it costs less than $5, does that count? I'll take iced tea. OK, fine. So I'm in the courtroom of this really tough medical malpractice case. And uh, who should be sitting behind me the whole time? No. I knew it. I told you that guy was just... I know, I know. I told him to get lost and get this. He gives me a tip that turns my whole case around. Renee, the man is stalking you. He followed you to the carnival. He sent you all those flowers. Now he's in the courtroom. How does he even know where you're going to be? Look, I really spelled it out for him this time. I don't know. I'd still be worried. I don't like this. I don't either. But I know the man's mother. Trust me, it's a powerful weapon. Good night, Mama. Good night, Renee. Love you. Hello? Hello? I'm glad my tip helped you today made me feel appreciated by you. All right, that's it. Obviously, being nice doesn't work with you, so I'm not even going to try. Leave me the hell alone. How much ruder do I have to be? Lavender looks so pretty on you, Renee. <laughs> Mama, let it ring. Don't get that. Honey, what's the matter? What's wrong? A lot's wrong, Mama. A lot's wrong. Says I look nice and lavender. I told you that guy was watching you. Are you going to go to the police on this or what? I'm heading over there as soon as we hang up. Well, keep an eye on your rearview mirror when you do. It's just starting to piss me off. How about the gun store? You want me to go with you? What? Well, I'd be my second stop after the police if I were you. Luckily, you're not me. I don't believe in guns. I wasn't raised to, remember? Yeah, well, you believe in a lot of things until somebody threatens you. Listen, I gotta go. Well, listen, call me later, all right? Keep me posted. You got it. Michael Gardner has no criminal record. And he is a steadily employed medical researcher. He knew what I was wearing. Now, he could have guessed. Or maybe uh, you told him your favorite color when you dated. We never dated. We went on once at our mother's request. What about the phone call? Was he profane? No. Nope. Did he threaten you? No, but he was obviously spying. Now you say that because you have witnesses or you saw him yourself. Neither. So you've only seen Gardner in public. And you're a lawyer. You know how the law works. Bumping into somebody is no crime, Miss Jack. That's Ms. And I also know that stalking is hard to prove without showing a pattern of behavior. I'm using a police report to document your case. Domestic this is smart lady. Oh, thanks. May I make a suggestion? Anytime soon would be nice. Are you, uh... Get a second line installed. I give everyone else that new number. I keep the old one hooked up to an answering machine. I record everything that he says. Now, if he keeps calling, we'll put on a wiretap. We'll trace it. I already tried Star 69. It doesn't work. No one answers. Maybe he was using a payphone. What about a restraining order? Sometimes it pisses him off. Sometimes it scares him away. I'll bet on the latter. I'd give that some thought if I were you. Might keep him engaged, and then you would still have to see him. He has a right to rebut in court. Yes, I know. Like you said, I'm a lawyer. I'm getting a restraining order, Detective. And I'd like a copy of my police report once it's processed. You got it. Thank you. Ms. Jack. 
try never to be alone. Hey! Just in time to call the kids for dinner. Kids, dinner! Gee, thanks, son. Where you been? Oh, picking up the stationery. Pretty classy stuff, huh? Yeah, nice. Would have been nice if you checked with me first. Where's the bill in this? It's in there somewhere. See the hammer on the logo? Kind of says it all, don't you think? I think the price is a whole lot more. Call your. Why did you pay this much? It seemed fair. Instant printing. I got a thousand pieces each. Yeah. Well, I could have gotten twice as much for half the price as the printing shop down the street. That's it. From now on, the checkbook stays with me. Come again? I will do the buying, the balancing, and the ordering. In fact, I will do all the finances. In other words, you're going to do it all. You're going to drive the truck and saw the wood, too? No, honey. That's your job. All right. My job, your company. Might as well call it what it really is. Mary Elizabeth Sims, Inc. Now, was that really necessary? I don't know. You tell me. First of all, probably a hundred trees died to make all that, and we should recycle. And second of all, I actually do kind of like the hammer logo. Yeah, right. No, no. I think it pretty much says it all. Sort of. I knew you'd come around, Shug. It's a good thing, too, because I ordered some custom post-its. Uh, 60 pads of them. Kids. Wait. When should we ask it? Let's butter him up first. You sure you don't want some cobbler, Matthew? Not just yet. I want to get this thing up and running. Isn't it a wonderful set? What with that big, beautiful space age screen? <laughs> It's a nice TV, Grandma. Yeah, got the antenna up. You want to plug it in for me, sugar pie? Yeah. I do appreciate you setting this up for me, honey. You know I have no head for electronics. Now, that's not true, Mama. I've seen you work all three speeds of your new mixer. There he is. Yeah, come over here to see this newfangled machine our mother went out and bought. How you doing, Peanut? Fine, Uncle Jimmy. Americans are free and short. Well, look at that. It's President Kennedy. Yeah, and he's what contrast. Yeah, I hear he's worried about the darkies down here. Smartest observation he's made since he took office. I don't care what you say. I like that Jack Kennedy. He's a good Catholic boy. And handsome as the day is long, don't you think, Mary Elizabeth? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know he plays football, Grandma. Well, it looks like your little girl's got a crush on our nigga loving president. Jimmy. Funny you should bring this up, Jimmy, because I've been meaning to tell you for the longest time that your real father is a Negro. <laughs> yes. I met him on a plantation when I was just a sweet young thing. In fact, that's his watch you're wearing. Isn't it pretty? <laughs> it sure is. <laughs> it's not funny, Mama. Not at all. <laughs> oh, Daddy, would it be okay if I went to the carnival tonight? Huh? No. I don't think so, Mary Elizabeth. 